So my name is Carrie, Teresa, Baton, Anthony, and I am a wife, a mother, and a pastor. And going through, whoo, my hair is falling down. Going through the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst right now. I've been married 8.75 years. Um, got married September 4, 2005 to my childhood sweetheart um loved him still love him we um have these three gorgeous kids um six five and seven months We never truly had it like easy or anything like that. But this season is the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst. My heart is completely shattered into a grimy of a billion of a trillion pieces. And why we had this beautiful church full of awesome believers built it up at a nice leadership team and as one of the leaders that I always felt weird about did not like his relationship with her warned him about her repeatedly time and time again I guess I started Noticing little stuff like he would get stuff off her skirt or on my birthday and I was sick as ever on my 29th birthday. I was pregnant with our third baby and I had heart problems. I was having brain problems. I was having uh, tachycardia problems and anarrhythmia problems and heart beating backwards and t blood turning black. As the doctor said, um, I was on bed rest. Um, my womb was severely weakened because of I had two prior C-sections and they didn't go through the same cut. They created other cuts and then I had a marina to go through and perforate my uterus and had to have it uh, surgically emergency, emergency surgically removed and got pregnant right behind that. He cheated on me. I'm so hurt, ashamed, scared, suspicious. Not that I feel bad of myself. Because I don't. I feel like I'm beautiful. I don't feel like I know. But what was it? Why? Why her? Why me? <laughs> Why did we do this to me, to us, to our kids? To our ministry. And I ask God why. Why, why am I suffering so badly? I wish I could just not feel what I'm feeling or that it just never happened at all. How about that? <sighs> Especially while I was like tore up sick on my back most of my days. Pregnant in 2013. All the way to the end of the year. <laughs> and this is how I get repaid. Treachery. This girl was constantly in my face. She playing my baby shower. But she had the audacity to sleep with my husband. He had the audacity to sleep with her. 
notwithstanding, I found videos and naked pictures of her. I don't want to see anybody's body that I labored with, labored with. <laughs> and then he thinks he has the right to be angry. No, no, no. And that I don't have a right to be angry. Or because he can't handle my my anger, how I feel. I think I show 2% of my emotions because I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> Still concerned about him. Notwithstanding the fact that um, I thought he left me at one point. I mean, I went on a five-day excursion is what I labeled it. And he comes home and says he wants to choose me and the kids. But I don't even have a applicable proof that he's chosen me and the kids. Like, if you were going for five days, what were you doing? Oh, ending a relationship. Oh, who said y'all didn't have plans of the making to do whatever it is you wanted to do? Kid, not my kids or something crazy. Like, no, no proof in my hands to say you're not talking. And God says, and everyone around, you know, I have 50-50. I prayed and I asked the Lord. He said, don't divorce. He'll fix it. Well, my heart is broken. In a way that I thought it'd never get broken like this. A day in a like life. My little vlog on Facebook and my emotions as I go through them. And uh, hopefully people have suggestions that have been through it before and as I get suggestions or as I get answers, I will be posting them. God bless. And once again, my name is Carrie Anthony. Um, today is 11. I'm sorry. I'm way ahead of myself. That's how out of it I've been. 623-2014. Bye.